robotic process automation or software robotics is technology that basically emulates humans doing manual processes across any number of different systems in your organization. What we're going to show you today is a robot interacting with a digital experience for the customer. In this case, we have a mobile app and the mobile app is going to allow the customer to raise a claim on their car insurance. That means the customer doesn't have to call in. It means that agents don't have to do lots of typing on existing systems. It basically streamlines the entire claim process. And in this demo, we'll also show how the robot can keep the client informed of what's going on with their claim and actually help them in interacting with suppliers, uh, for example, to actually sort out repairs. So what you're going to see is the robot popping up a claim form. What you see is it is set up to just check from the policy which vehicle was actually involved. So there's only two choices. Uh, so that's been set up by the robot to only have two valid choices depending upon the information in the policy. Similarly, when we actually look at which people were involved with the incident, only valid drivers, again pre-populated by the robot, are displayed on the claim form. Because we have the claim form on an iPad, we can use the full functionality of the tablet. So in this case, uh, we can show, you know, are you actually close to the incident? Where did the incident happen using maps and GPS? And we also can show uh, graphical images of what part of the car was involved in the incident. And by clicking on the various parts of the car that were involved, it enters the information onto the claim form directly. We can then obviously put in information about the actual incident itself. Uh, so reversing out of the driveway, we hit a gate post, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then we can actually also upload images, so take pictures of the damage directly from the camera, use the camera in real time or from previous stored information. You'll see that each one of the fields is validated, so when did it happen, was weather important, what type of trip was it, all those things are pre-done. Now what you're seeing is that information has been sent to the robot and the robot is rapidly entering that into an existing claim system. So on the right hand side, of the, on the bottom right, you're seeing the steps the robot is going through and on the left hand side, the system it's interacting with. The insurance company then has a robot interacting with any number of legacy systems to, in order to process that claim. So effectively, we can digitally enable existing systems and effectively have a win-win for both the customer and the insurance company. And what you'll now see is the information being popped up onto the mobile app to say that that claim has been registered. So you see claim tile has popped up on the mobile app. And when we look at that claim, you'll actually see that the time to resolve the claim has been put there by the robot saying it's four days until that claim should be paid. That means that the client knows there is a certain amount of time to wait and won't keep calling in. And so effectively the robot can keep telling the claimant what's happening with their claim. What you'll also then see is the robot acting at the back end of the process. In this case, it's going to interact with the mechanics website to try and schedule a mechanic to come and pick up the car. So you see that the robot is interacting and entering information about the claim into the mechanics website. And then once the mechanic has responded, it's going to push a notification into the mobile app to say your, your car will be collected at a certain time by Graham from Graham's Garage. Effectively, it's an end-to-end -end process that the robot has done across that entire claim. The important point to note about this whole demo is that a human was not involved other than the claimant in the processing of that claim. All the entry up front and then all the subsequent interaction with the customer has all been done by the robot and so this will massively reduce 
the cost of handling that claim. So what we've shown is how a digital experience and a robot can interact to create a fantastic experience for the customer so that they can enter their information uh, in less than a minute without having to call in. They can do it 24 hours a day. And what it allows uh, an organization to do is get the robot to focus on the kind of low value, the data entry, the, the, the no value uh, process and allow humans to focus on far more value added uh, work.